Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening guys. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Welcome to our English class. It's a great pleasure to be here with you. A very incredible privilege, especially because it's, you know, it's Wednesday. You know, the week goes very fast. You know, we are pretty busy doing a lot of things, and, you know, the time goes so fast. But the most important is that we are here to practice English. So welcome to everybody. It's a great pleasure. And at the same time, motivated because it's a great night, especially with you guys ready to practice. And uh, yesterday we had a great time talking and practicing in English that the time goes fast. And as you know, English is a very active language. So that's mean that we need to take this time to practice, to improve, to work, and also learn a lot because it's something that we need to do. So for me, it's a great pleasure to see you guys and I'm ready to maximize your English skills. And today we're going to start in, uh, with our classes. So the topic that we will share today is the beauty conference number 15. So tomorrow we finished, you know, how, how the time has gone so fast. I just, I can't believe it. Incredible, right? So the time goes so fast that tomorrow is the last class for this course. And then you will go on to the ne next level. So you will have some time, you know, to improve and work and practice. And also the topic that we will share today here, it's called going abroad, especially when we decide to travel to a different country. Uh, traveling abroad is live out of the country, out of El Salvador. You can travel to Mexico, to Canada, to United States, Europe, is South America, we're talking about Brazil, Argentina, some other countries. And yesterday, we were taking some time to socialize some equations about traveling. As we read in the, in the last class, by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use relative pronouns, who and that as subjects. We studied that yesterday. And the topic that we have here is going abroad, right? So when we're talking about going abroad, we're talking about these equations. So what I want you to do is to take a short time to share these uh, equations. One second, one second, please. I need to add a charger to my laptop. So just give me one second, guys. So as you can see, we were uh, taking a short time to practice some equations and all of you were going to give a possible answer about something. So we can see the first one that is, if you could live in a foreign country, what country would you like to live in and why? Well, I would like to travel to, uh, to Germany because it's a very advanced country. The, it has an incredible technology. It's a very interesting culture. And also people are very respectful and there are great uh, job opportunities. And um, that will be one of the reasons that I would like to travel to Germany. So we can talk about a, a, a country that you would like to go. And also we I'll actually have the next one. What country wouldn't you like to live in and why? Well, I wouldn't like to live in a 
in that country because it's very crowded. A lot of people there. It's the weather is not good. Also, there are some difficulties to find a job, or perhaps the politics are you know complicated for citizens or foreigners. And you can like start talking about that one. As we said, we're going to read the equations and think of the two more equations to add at least. En este caso, pues, ya vamos a compartir estas preguntas con nuestros compañeros. Y vamos a elegir algunas y las íbamos a compartir en el grupo. Por ejemplo, le quiero preguntar a Marvin, Who is the person you would most like to go abroad with? I would like to go with my, with my mother to a different country, or I would like to go with my sisters or my brothers. And um, or I could ask, you know, who is the person you will email first after arriving somewhere new? Well, I would like to email my best friend because uh, I won't see I won't see her anymore. So I just want to say hello when I go to that country. Or oh, what is the thing you would enjoy most about living abroad? I, I would enjoy uh, living in a different cultures. The weather, because here in my country is very hot. The weather is very tropical, but I would like to go to Europe because the weather is they have four seasons, and also it's a very nice. Um, country, so you can talk about it. Así que eh, vamos a formar los breakout rooms y vamos a compartir cada una de estas preguntas. I just want to ask you guys. Um, eh, ¿Lograron eh, contestar algunas preguntas? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. So let's try now. What I want you to do is we're going to work in the breakout rooms and you in groups, you will uh, practice some questions, right? Entonces ustedes van a hacer, en los grupos van a hacer diferentes preguntas. Yo puedo, yo puedo preguntarle a uno, puedo preguntar a otra, yo le voy a preguntar a él y así vamos a ir eh, intercambiando preguntas y vamos a ir compartiendo respuestas. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Así que vamos a formar los grupos y usted ready to you know, practice with your partners. Remember, take this time to practice. Si ustedes se fijan, la mayoría de estos ejercicios que hemos hecho son de speaking, de producción. Usted produce y habla, produce y habla. Entonces, eh, a este nivel que es ya casi avanzado, pre-advanced, es decir, ya estamos en un paso, ya tenemos que tener esa capacidad de poder expresarnos y poder socializar en lo que es el idioma inglés, ya que hemos pasado básico, hemos pasado a nivel intermedio, hoy ya estamos en avanzado, Y tenemos que poner eh, lo mejor de nosotros y pues tratar de practicar. Ya que el, el inglés es de práctica, entonces si no lo practicamos va a ser un poco complicado. Entonces no tenga miedo, deje eso a un lado y, y practique. Eso es lo importante. Así que vamos al inicio y everybody is speaking in English. Let's go.
La, la mía. ¿Cuál contestó usted? Eh, bueno, eh, tú, what is something you will never travel without? Mm, ok. Eh, Two. Eh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. In my case, I could never travel away from home without my allergic pill. If okay. I go to another country, I always have to take them to avoid health problems. Really? Yes. El clima. Eh, no sé cómo se dice bichos. Box. De, de, I, I have allergy. Really? Ah. Yes. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> Siempre tengo que cargarlas. Is another? Eh, what country would you like to live in? Uh -huh, what country do you, do you like to live in? Uh -huh, yo puse, I, I like to live in Canada because many uh, family uh, live there and I think they will show me place and help me to adapt easily and I will not feel so alone. Okay. You know, she's all, ah, no, 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 she's all. Canada, do you like Canada? It's very cool. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Did you say that? Yes. Ah. I told you I had an egg. I said. I also. Bring me some coffee, please. Yo quiero oh, café. Ay, gracias. Y Bridget. Okay. I am hungry. <laughs> Un perdón que me acabo de venir. <laughs> no hice <laughs> nada. <laughs> y pongo a mi hijo a cocinar. <laughs> In my case, is, who is the person you want to fly in the snow? You will be excited to, to live there. Yes, because I I have to know this now. Okay. Okay. The the second, Jaime. Second, the second question could be: What country you wouldn't like to live in? Why? But I think for me it's a little difficult because I can I can find. One country where I wouldn't, where I wouldn't live there, because I don't know what kind of things I I wouldn't like living in a country. Uh, because I think in in all of the country up there are uh, landscapes, there are people, inter interesting interests in people. I'm sorry, and works. But maybe if I think one one bad thing about a country would be the economy, but I can I can think about that because we live here in El Salvador and here is not like one of the one of the richest country around the world. But I don't know what maybe Mexico. I wouldn't like to to live there because it's a little dangerous for because of the cartels and maybe another other two countries where I wouldn't like to live there could be Venezuela uh, for the economy and could be Honduras because I have heard that there is like a dictadura no sé cómo se diría pero that's there that's why I wouldn't like to live there Honduras Venezuela and maybe Mexico in my opinion okay <laughs> um, yes I, I I have I have cl clear <laughs> um, yes I I wouldn't like in North Korea you wouldn't because, like because, because the president are crazy 
Yes, eh, I have heard really crazy yeah. news about there. Eh, eh, yeah. These people eh, eh, likes the where, where, como guerra, war, 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 war yes, war. war. Yeah, and yes. thank you. And the, the 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 person in in this country, North Korea, uh, uh, haven't haven't. Let me see. Let me see. Um. Uh, when, wait a moment, please. The final question is. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, what will be your to great concert about living abroad? What will be your to great concert uh, about living bro. Mm. My great concerns and yeah. greatest. Is... Greatest. <laughs> greatest is the different food. Um uh, um be uh le lejos, no sé cómo, lejos por ¿Cómo? Por 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 acuérdese de, de, de la película de Shred, muy muy lejano por 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 yeah por um with my be my family yeah yeah eso is that Es que yo no entiendo como cuáles podrían ser tus dos mayores preocupaciones a la hora de, 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 de salir de, 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 de viaje, ¿verdad, Emerson? Algo así se entendería. Después, sí, ¿no? y ella le está contestando que no le gustaría estar lejos de su familia. Ajá, ok, ok. Ok. Um, de, de, sí. Ahora yo te voy a hacer las preguntas a ti, Emerson, ¿te parece? Para que así termine y luego ustedes me hacen las preguntas a mí. ¿Y por qué crees que el que no se las hace a usted? Que las desquite. <risa> que Querida, que no le digo la cosa. <risa> Come on, Edith. <risa> In the question. Um, ok. Um, if you call live in... A... ¿Bien, verdad? Yes. Sí, ya con la... Con la edad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, bueno. siempre uno se vuelve más selectivo. Sí. Uh -huh. Todo su tiempo, todo su tiempo. Uh -huh. Ahí, soso. -so. Someday, someday. You know, uh, the connection. Yeah. The connection. Yes, for your connection. Yo. My heart. Match, match your hair. Ay, ya lo divertí. Oh, yes. Appreciate, appreciate it, love. Sí. Sí. Yes. Y ellos son los que manejan todo, digámoslo así, el orden o el desorden. Uh -huh. Y de igual manera, pues, en Nicaragua. Uh -huh. En... Eh, en... Eh, estadio, Emerson, ¿cómo se dice? El estadio de... de, de estadio. El Bayer, estadio. El Bayer. Stating, stating, uh, the beautiful um, structural, the, the, the most structural. Um, visit mass with 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 eyes, uh, 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 
I like to visit to to different place, different building, uh, uh, because because for my 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 study, my study, and, uh, I love it. Um, the other country would you like to live in in in, in in Madrid. I like to be like to live in Madrid because for visit the uh, el el Prado is a museum museum museo es museum verdad yeah okay the museum el Prado I like to 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 see it. Me gustaría ver, eh, I, I like to see the picture, uh, the beautiful picture, uh, an artist, for example, uh, uh, Rubens um, and Velázquez. Only edit <laughs> the two questions. Okay. Ask. Ask me. Okay. Um, who is the person you will email first after arri arriving, arriving somewhere new? Who is the person you will email first after arriving somewhere new? Yeah. ¿Cómo es la persona que a ti te gustaría will Creo que dice quién es la primera persona a la que le enviaría su correo. Ajá. Eh, después de que llegues al lugar. Obvio, a su girlfriend. Yeah. A my girlfriend. The only person. I'm with my family. Yeah. That's better. Pero well, the, the girlfriend is the first person. The, 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 this is your plane, your plane, Emerson. Y si te me hicieran las preguntas a mí, a Judith, y no te hice las preguntas a ti, yo quería saber. <laughs> Andale, a dale, 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 dale una, dale una. Uh, la, la de, who is the person would you like the most to go abroad with? ¿Cuál es la persona con la que te gustaría más ir a un lugar de viaje? Uh, oh, this is only my wife. Uh, uh. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Good evening, Emerson. Good evening. Uy, ese quién fue? Santiago! <laughs> You're late. Okay, guys. Well, we continue. Well, congratulations for the work done. It was very interesting listening to all of you talking about, you know, your trips and also who would you like to go with uh, to a place who will be the first person that you would like to contact after you travel to a different country. So that was very interesting. And we'll, we, I wanted to like to have more time for that one, but we have a very close time to do that one. So congratulations, it was very interesting. And we learned about each other, that's very important. Teacher, what about you? What country would you like to live in? Um, a pretty house, um, well, I, I love yeah, Salvador. Yeah. It's a very nice country and it, it has improved a lot, to be honest with you, but also, uh, I would like to visit London, London in England. It's a very nice country, uh, traditional, and also the culture is very interesting. So England will be a very nice destination for traveling. That's really good. Okay. okay. <laughs> sure. So guys, congratulations. I, I could listen to all of you speaking in English, and I'm really fascinated. I love listening to you guys. So we will continue with the next part of the class, and also... We're going to try to take some time to learn new vocabulary and expressions in English. So let's see the next one. Different costumes. Look at that. There are some interesting flat. Who wants to help me to read the, the chart with the information about the countries? You can see the flat and each flat represents a country. Who wants to help me to read it? I would like to help you. 
Oh, thanks a lot. Okay. Canada, if you are invited for a meal, you should arrive on time. Not not early or late. Okay. This is for Canada. Would you like would, would you like me to read all of the flop? Oh, or what you can do is that you choose the next person to read the next one. Okay, uh, Emerson. Indonesia or South Korea? Okay, Indonesia. Never point to anything with your foot. Next person is Santiago. Okay, Santiago. Okay. Uh, friends, we need it out, keep both hands on or above this table. The next person is Raquel. You can do it, Raquel. Thank you. Thank you so you're, much. You're welcome. <laughs> South Korea. Korea. Always use both hands to pass something to an older person. Next, um, Morenita. Okay, thank you, Raquelita. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Egypt, don't eat anything with your left hand. Uh, next person. Brigitte. Thanks, Morenita. Okay. Thailand. Never douche. Eh, anyone, especially, and shield on the heat. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. So we have different uh, kind of customs that most of the time, every country has uh, something different, like traditions, expressions, and also things related to culture. As, as something that I, I really like about Indonesia is that never point to anything with your foot, right? And this is something that it's very informal and inappropriate for people. For example, in France, when eating out keeps both hands on or about the table. And in Thailand, it never touch anyone, especially a child. Well, you can see some important things that we need to know, especially when we travel, because perhaps we are doing something that is not good, or perhaps that could be inappropriate in other countries. Like, for example, what people experience in Qatar. Do you remember about the World Cup in Qatar? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, people have. Yeah. Qatar were scared is, about that. Yeah. Qatar is a very, very concert, conservative country. They have rules and restrictions for citizens. And imagine that people from other countries and also visit this country, they have to adapt to the rules. If not, you can get some troubles. And you could listen uh, first that. For example, people drinking alcohol on the streets was in, inappropriate. So people uh, won't be allowed to do that one because they have some strong rules or causing problems on the streets. It's inappropriate. So we had to know when we are traveling to a country to know important details about that. Okay, and don't forget to have the camera on. No se les olvide tener la cámara encendida. Eh, que es un requerimiento importante y pues siempre se menciona en todo momento. Así que felicidades ahí a los que pues, tienen su cámara encendida. Bien, well, we're going to continue guys talking a little bit about some questions. Does your culture follow any of these customs? For example, you could say, you know what? Can El Salvador has a similar uh, customs like Canada, for example, or not. So you can compare. So does your culture follow any of these customs? Do any of these customs seem unusual to you and explain? What other interesting customs do you know? And what customs should a visitor to your country know about? So I will give you a couple of minutes to 
try to give a personal answer about these questions. And later we will compare and share valuable details in the class. So as I told you, I'm very satisfied because I could listen all of you guys speaking in English. When you work in the groups, all of you have to speak in English. Por ahí escuché por ahí español en los grupos, así que don't forget to keep on practicing English. This is the chance to practice English. Remember, we speak Spanish all the time. All the time we speak Spanish. And when we are in an English class, we speak in Spanish. So that's why we had to at least to be a strong to avoid um, speaking in Spanish in English. So take your time. If you have questions or doubts, you can ask questions using the chat. Raise your hand and you say, Teacher William, I have a question. Teacher William, I don't understand this one. Teacher William, help me with this. So I will be more than glad to help you guys. Ready? Yes. I'm ready. Teacher. Okay, perfect. I'm ready. Take your time to yes. share.
Okay, are you ready? Yes? Okay, so guys, we're gonna take a short time again and we will have like shorter time than the previous one and we will uh, discuss with the partner the following equations. And uh, the goal is that we can take some minutes and then we will go back to the break and rooms. And let's practice and good luck with that. One moment, please. See, two and three. Let's go. Uh, yeah. There is a question. In, in my case, sí, in my case, I maybe is that not resemble it does in the Francian for me. Um, and because in, in in my family, for for example, is is. The, the, the hands uh, in the table al, a la hora de la comida, muy bien. <laughs> Están las dos manos. So, both hands. Okay. Uh, um, the, the, the first question. Uh, does your culture follow any of this question? Um, um, and, and for me, uh, I think that that no of these custom are custom are practiced uh, because because there there is no gener, gener, generalization generalization. Um. Uh, with my with my country. Uh, I think I think I think so. Yeah. In my I, case, uh, the customs I think I I follow is the Canadian custom to arrive um, on time for a meal or to celebrate a birthday I can. in a party. Um, also, the Thailandian custom to never touch anyone, especially a child on the head, because uh, I think it's uh, disrespectful uh, uh, for a child because uh, is a uh, 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 customs uh, 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 baby. No? I don't know what to what to say. Uh, a veces le pasan cosas a los bebés cuando los toca una persona desconocida. <laughs> okay. Number number two number two do you any this custom thing in notion to you explain uh, do you this custom thing on usual to you and you shall initial to you 
¿Cuál de estas costumbres te parecen? ¿Cómo sería? ¿Alguna de estas costumbres parecen habitual? Teacher, teacher, I, you can help me, teacher. Uh, what's the meaning of the second question? Uh, uh, do you any this question thing? ¿Alguna de estas costumbres te parecen habitual? to you, inusuales, que si son inusuales. este tipo de tradiciones eh, inusuales para ti. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Again, um, El Salvador, no, no. Yeah, so it's older, so you can Relax. give something with both okay. hands to an adult. Yeah, yeah, it's not common. Mm -hmm. And for, for me, I believe that custom are part of the way people relative to age and other uh and the other. Um and for me, I'm not I'm not no usual usual custom uh, this this is this is the the it is this is the culture um condition geography um and and different and different uh, 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 circumstances quiero decir teacher <laughs> Circumstances. Circumstances. Different circumstances. For me, I think. I think uh, the Indonesian customs to never point to anything with the food uh, is unusual uh, for someone to point uh, someone with the food. I, uh, the always the person's point with the hand and with the foot. I don't know. Uh, I never see that somewhat point with the foot. Okay. Uh, for me, in the, in the Qatar, Qatar. Uh, the 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 most uh, que más me sorprendió cómo se dice sorprender teacher you can help me sorprenderme que más me sorprendió uh, something that most surprised me the, the, the most surprised to me is the don't talk, don't kiss don't touch um the woman the for uh, yeah, it is yeah. legal. Yeah, it's like not yeah. appropriate to to greet physically. Yeah, yeah. Have contact physically with the woman. In yeah, do have to and take the, distance. And, and the men teacher and the men teacher um con la nariz los hombres the, the men and men. <laughs> <laughs> and the woman no touch. Don't touch. <laughs> 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 yeah right. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, we're back. You know, I was I was listening about your answers and were interesting. Well, let's continue talking about expectations. This is very important to discuss. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. When you go to a party, you're invited to go to a party. Let's say 15 parts, 15 years, um, a celebration, a birthday, anniversary, a wedding. It's a tradition or it's the customs to bring a small gift. We cannot go with that with the free hands or with not anything to bring. 
Siempre hay que llevar un regalo cuando lo inviten a una fiesta porque es una costumbre, right? It's a custom to bring some gift, right? No va a ir usted, bueno, ya vine y pues sin nada, ¿verdad? solo a comer. No, you have to bring something. It's like a tradition that you have to bring some, something, like a gift. Y hoy ya no quieren regalo, hoy quieren de sobre. Hoy, so, hoy regalo de sobre. money. Yeah, they need cash, money, money. Money, money. Yeah, que no suene. Sounds, you know, money cash, you know, people. So, an envelope. And also, you aren't supposed to arrive early. Y cuando, pues, no puede llegar más temprano, sino que tiene que llegar, pues, a la hora, ¿no? Entonces, tiene que respetar la hora. You know, it's the party started at three, you have to be at three, depending, right? If you want to bring someone, you are expected to call first and ask. You are supposed to check with the host, and if not acceptable to arrive without calling first. Si tú quieres eh, llevar a alguien, pues primero, pues tienes que llamar y preguntar si se puede, ¿no? No va a llevar buenas. Aquí vengo como con cinco, ¿verdad? Y la invitación era por una persona. Eso pasa de repente. Here is normal. Sometimes. Yeah, the, 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 the party is for two y llevan como yeah. ocho. Hasta el vecino va. De, de, de yeah, exactly. Yes. The families. <laughs> so, first is important to expect call first and then ask if that is possible to bring an extra person to the party. You are supposed to check with the host, es decir, con el, el, que, el encargado de la fiesta, el host, que es el presentador, el que está ahí. ¿Cuántas personas puedo llevar? How many people can I go with right now? It is not acceptable to try without calling first. Es decir, tampoco pues solo llegar así por así. Tienes que tener una invitación. Have you gone to a party without being invited? Have you ever gone to a party without being invited? ¿Ya han ido a alguna fiesta sin ser invitados? No really, teacher. No. No. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. No, teacher. No. And they say, okay, usted, vení, te quito, vení, vos vení a la fiesta, and people don't know, right? So you go. In the university is common. It's, it's common. common, yes. Yeah. yeah. And also, mm -hmm. there are some parties that are free parties. Algunas pues, son fiestas libres, right? So you can go, I mean, that's not a problem. But for an special celebration, it's a tradition. Okay, look at the next one. Match information in column A and column B to make sentences about customs in the United States and Canada. Then compare with the partner. If you plan to visit someone at home, what's the possible answer? You're supposed to call first, expect to, you know, what? Uh, call and thanks. It is susceptible to share expenses. So, uh, so think about what do you think could match the first one. If you have been uh, to a friend's home for dinner, eh, si tú has llegado a la casa de un amigo para cenar, it is susceptible to share expenses. Eh, es aceptable pues, compartir gastos. O sea, lo que va a gastar, no sé, o, I don't know, call first. Oh, so think about which one could match. When you have been invited to a wedding, what happened when you are invited to be in a wedding? Pues si cuando has sido invitado a una boda, ¿qué pasa? Um, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her, or, I don't know, thanks him or her for the, for the invitation, Oh, call first, and you had to look for the possible answers about it. Entonces, vamos a tratar de unir la parte A con la parte B como una de las tradiciones comunes en Estados Unidos y en Canadá. So, le voy a dar unos minutos para que pueda hacer esto y mientras vamos a pasar asistencia. Yes? Right. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. thank you. Yes, teacher. Well, I'm going to stop sharing the screen to look for the attendance list. One second.
Uh, Bridget Lisset Erasmo. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present. Eh, César Alexander Ramírez. César Alexander. Eh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Edith Araceli Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Alexander Díaz. Eduardo. Elvis Aníbal Rauda. Present. Emerson Alexander Mejía. Present. Eh, Eneida Yamilet González. Present, teacher. Thanks, uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana. Present. Javier Ernesto Lucero. Present. Eh, Karen Suleima Ceseña. Present. Eh, Laura Michelle Arce. Present, teacher. Thanks, eh, María Catalina Correa. Eh, Marvin Fernando Marcel. Marvin. Present. Okay. Eh, Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Oscar Alberto Rodríguez. Present. Raquel Arely Santos. Present teacher. Thanks. Santiago Antonio Chávez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sara Nelda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Which possible answer we have. So we have three minutes. Okay, if you visit someone at home, what is the most recommendable? You're supposed to call first. Yeah, that's why. Yes. Yeah, this is the most recommendable. Number two, if you have been to a friend's home for dinner, what is the possible answer? It's acceptable to share the expenses. Okay, yeah. Okay, or you're supposed to call first, right? To acceptable things. Number three, when you have been invited to a wedding, what happened? Canada, teacher in Canada is it's acceptable to share the expenses. In the number three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. No, in the number uh -huh, in the number three. Okay. Share expenses, right? What else? Mm -hmm. You are expect to respond in writing? Yeah, especially when they're electronic, uh, for example, invitations, you can also write it in a formal, in a formal way you have to answer. Eh, siempre responde, pues ya sea un correo, una carta, porque es muy formal. Number four, when you go out on a date. When you go out on a date. It's acceptable to share the expenses. Okay, makes sense. Half and half, 50-50. You can do that one. And also, perhaps you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Depends, right? <laughs> Depending. And the number five, if the service in a restaurant is good, what happened? If the you respect to leave a tip. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You have to give some some money because the service is good. It's very competitive. You you have this one. You have this amount of money. That's good. And the last one, when you meet someone for the first time, what happened? You aren't supposed to you kiss him or her. Kiss him or her. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you aren't. Remember, you aren't. You aren't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the point. Well, guys, I just want to congratulate you for the work done. You were about to finish the class. And also, thank you. Remember, tomorrow is the last class of this level. So don't forget to be on time. Don't miss the class. And also try to finish the exercises on the platform. And I just really, I'm really satisfied because you have already done the best. 
And I'm pretty sure that for that, you will keep on learning and practicing English in the best or in the high level. So thank you so much and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Bye bye. Thank you, bye -bye. Thank you too. Bye bye. Thank Take you care all. a lot. Beautiful night to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. It's fine.